Hello there, and welcome to yet another educational video from Wondershare Dr. Phone. I am Francisco, and today we are going to discuss the Samsung phone freezing and becoming unresponsive. So in this video, we're going to be sharing six invaluable tips to prevent your Samsung phone from freezing again. We all know how it feels when our smartphones freeze at the most inconvenient of times, but fear no more. Because as with these six expert tips, you'll have the knowledge to keep your Samsung phone running smoothly, we're good. So before we dive into the tips, remember to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon because it will keep you updated about the latest up uploads coming up. So let's move on. Part 1 possible reasons why Samsung phone hang. So in the first part of our video, we're going to explore the possible reasons why Samsung phone might hang or freeze. Understanding these factors will help us address the root causes and prevent future freeze up. TouchWiz. The first potential culprit we'll discuss is TouchWiz. For those unfamiliar, TouchWiz is Samsung's user interface layer that provides a unique experience on their devices. While TouchWiz offers a range of features and customization options, it can sometimes consume significant system resources, leading to sluggish performance or even continual freezing. Heavy apps. Next up are going to be heavy apps. Many of us love to install various applications on our Samsung phones, but some of these apps can be resource intensive, training the device's capabilities. These heavy apps can consume a significant amount of processing power, memory, and battery life, potentially leading to freezing or even slow performance. Widgets and unnecessary features. So now we're going to move on to widgets and unnecessary features, which can also contribute to your Samsung phone's freezing. Now, widgets are fantastic for quick access to information, but having too many of them or using poorly optimized ones can impact your device's performance. Additionally, certain features that you rarely use may actually continue running in the background, consuming system resources unnecessarily. Smaller amounts of RAM Lastly, the amount of RAM in your Samsung phone can play a significant role in its overall performance. Some Samsung models come with smaller RAM capacities, which can struggle to handle multiple tasks simultaneously, leading to freezing or even lag. Part 2 Samsung phone hangs? Well, we're going to fix it in just a few clicks. So if you've got a Samsung device that freezes a lot, in this type of situation, you need a specialized tool that can resolve all of the issues with your device. The best Android system repair tool currently available is Wondershare Dr. Phone. It is going to be a one-click Android repair tool that can resolve issues like phone freezing, Play Store not working, brick devices, and many more. So let's go through the simple steps that you need to free your Samsung device of freezing problems. First things first, you're going to want to do is just access the system repair feature of Wondershare Dr. Phone. So grab your USB cable and connect your Samsung phone to your computer. Once it's connected, go ahead and launch Wondershare Dr. Phone. After selecting System Repair from the Toolbox tab, just go ahead and click on Android on the next screen. So when you see a list of Android issues, go ahead and click on Start in the next window. Then you'll need to provide your device details like the Samsung phone's brand, model, name, country, and even carrier. So then just check the warning box down in the bottom right corner, and once you're done, just hit Next. The next step is just to enable download mode on your Samsung phone. So just follow the on-screen instructions that Wondershare Dr. Phone provides, and you will be in download mode in literally no time. So when the download is finally complete, you'll see a button that says Fix Now. Go ahead and click on it. To confirm that you're ready to start the repair process, you'll need to enter a confirmation code. So just type in 0 six times, so 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and the repair process will begin. Part 3. How to restart the phone when it freezes or is hanged. Restarting your device is the first thing to do whenever you face an issue. However, if your Samsung device is becoming unresponsive, you can no longer restart it using conventional methods. In this case, you will need to force restart your Samsung phone. Force restarting will flush out temporary bugs and glitches and will also reset system processes. Here is going to be how to restart your frozen Samsung device. First, press and hold the power button along with the volume down button for about 10 seconds. Your phone will now re reboot in a few seconds from there. Part 4. 
six tips to prevent Samsung phones from freezing again. So in this part of our video, we're going to unveil six valuable tips to prevent your Samsung phone from freezing again. These tips will help you optimize your phone's performance and keep those annoying freeze ups at bay. Number one, delete unwanted and heavy apps. So it is going to be easy to accumulate a bunch of apps over time, but having too many can actually put a strain on your phone's resources. So take a moment to review your installed apps and remove any that you no longer use or ones that consume a lot of memory and processing power. This will free up space and improve your phone's overall performance. Use this guide to uninstall apps from your Samsung device with ease. All that you have to do is just go ahead and navigate to the targeted app icon and then long press it until a pop-up menu appears. Select uninstall from the menu and confirm your action by tapping OK. Repeat the process to remove other unwanted or heavy apps. Number two is going to be close all apps when not in use. So many of us tend to actually leave apps running in the background even when we're not actively using them. This can lead to unnecessary resource hogging or consumption, potentially causing your phone to freeze. So make it a habit to close up any apps fully when you're done using them by following these steps. So all that you have to do is just tap the three bars icon located near the bottom left corner to access all of the apps currently running in the background. Now swipe each app sideways to close them. You can also use the close all option to close all of the running apps together. Number three, clear the phone's cache. So then for the next part, as you use your Samsung phone, temporary files and data accumulate in its cache, which can slow down the system over time. Luckily, you can easily clear the cache by going to the recovery mode. Here are going to be the detailed steps to clean your Samsung device's cache. Start by turning off your Samsung device and connecting it to a computer using a USB cable. Now press and hold the power and volume up buttons until the device transitions into recovery mode. Once in recovery mode, the volume keys to navigate to wipe cache partition and select it with the power button. On the next screen, select yes to complete the process. Afterward, use Reboot System Now to exit the recovery mode. Install apps from Google Store only. So then, the very next step, or number four, I should say, while it may be tempting to download apps from third-party sources or side loading, they can sometimes be poorly optimized or even malicious. Stick to the official Google Store apps, as it offers a safer and more reliable experience, minimizing the risk of compatibility issues or freeze-up. Number five, always keep antivirus app installed. Your Samsung phone is susceptible to malware and viruses, which can severely impact its performance. So just install a reputable antivirus app from the Play Store and regularly scan your device for any potential threats. This proactive approach will help keep your phone secure and running smoothly. Some of the best antivirus apps for Samsung devices are Norton, Avast, and Bitdefender. Number six, store apps in the phone's internal memory. While many Samsung phones actually allow you to install apps on an, an external SD card, it's generally recommended to install them in the internal memory whenever possible. The internal memory tends to be faster and more stable, reducing the chances of freezing or lagging issues. And with that, today's video reaches its end. So thank you so much for watching this video all the way up until the very end, and we're hopeful that this video helped you in getting rid of the frozen Samsung screen. So give this video a thumbs up to show your appreciation and let us know about your feedback in the comments. Finally, do remember to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for future updates. So until next time, have a good one.